it's a real fun shape, sort of exotic looking, sort of symmetric looking. And here's the question. I want us to use a composite figure to estimate the shaded area. Well, the shaded area, by the way, you can see it there. Here, I didn't shade it on this one, but it's just the inside stuff here. And I want to uh, note that the grid has uh, squares with side lengths one centimeter. So what do I do? What I want to do is I make a composite figure. <clears throat> and the composite figure I'll do is I'll just actually make a triangle here. Maybe I should use a straight edge. Do you think I should use a straight edge? You want to you want to look really good or just kind of good? Kind of want to look really good. So I'm just estimating here. I'm not gonna put exactly. It said estimate. And see here, I can make a nice square. And I can repeat this triangle sort of all over the place, or congruent versions of it anyway. See, look at me go. Wow. Have you ever seen such straight lines? No, you probably have. Have you ever seen such straight lines without a ruler? Uh, okay, okay, okay. I can take a challenge. Here you go. You ready? Watch this. Huh? Huh? If you think this is part of the web, like cheating you, it's not. That was me giving you a straight line live. So don't think, eh, no big deal. It's a big deal. All right. Now, each of these figures, we could actually find the area for. So I just... Notice that, in fact, all the triangles are congruent, so they actually have the same area. So I just take the area of 1, multiply it by 4, and then add to it the area of the little square. With well, the little square, is easy to see. 1, 2, 3, 4, or 2 by 2, so 4, so that's pretty easy. What about the area of this triangle? Well, it's a 1 half base, which is 2, times height, 1, 2, 3. So it's uh, 2 times 3, which is 6. We take half of it, we get 3. So this has area 3. This is area 3, area 3, area 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6. Another 6 is 12. And then we add 4, and we get uh, 16. And so the area is approximately 16 centimeters squared. So we can give a nice approximation pretty easily by taking a very exotic shape and cutting it up and approximating it by a composite figure where we can actually find the area of each of the little components. Anyway, areas are abound. And sometimes the shapes aren't so straightforward, and yet when we divide and conquer, we see errors. See you soon.